Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the mobile game tutorial. So, um, last time, I'm not quite sure what we did actually, but last time I think we implemented this little panel down here. And uh, yeah, so we put the best time in there and we also locked this level if the first one wasn't completed. Now, in this one, what I'd like to start with is to actually fix a little bug we have. So, as you can probably tell, we don't have any any cooldown on our boost. We can just spam it and that's not going to... That's not going to be really cool in the end, so let's go ahead and put a cooldown on this simple uh, simple mistake we did over here in our motor script. So this is where we control the ball. We have the boost down here. So we check if the time dot time minus the last boost is bigger than the boost cooldown. So if the time in between the last boost and um, right now is bigger than the boost cooldown, then we go ahead and do the boost, but we never actually set the last boost again, so let's do that by typing in last boost is equal to time dot time. Okay, so that is completed. Let's go ahead and test it out really quickly. Level selection, level one, swap, swap, and I can only boost once every once every two seconds. Okay. Right. So um, in our game right now, where are we exactly? So, we could be doing some kind of gameplay prefab next. Because now this is our level, it's not really, uh, not really fun. So let's go ahead and create some kind of idea of what we want to create. So, um, I'll go in the training scene, which is uh, our first level, and let's go ahead and try something out real quickly. I am going to instantiate two new cubes, so this one over here, I'll center it in the middle of the world, and I'll actually check to create some rails, so let's try that right here, maybe that big, and like that. So I'm, I'm pretty much just trying stuff out right now, because we know our ball is using the uh, the physics. So we might actually be able to do something with such uh, prefab. So I'm launching the game and I'm going to try... Oh. <laughs> I'm going to try and just walk in the middle of this and see what happens. Okay. So as you can see it kind of snapped. Uh, and we can go on the sides but it's easier just to stay in the middle. So now let's go ahead and extend these a little further. And again, guys, I'm just testing stuff out right now. I'm not actually going to keep that. But I really like the rail mechanic, and I think that we could be uh, creating a model in uh, a 3D software to take care of that shortly. So if we try this out, we just we just got to be creative with that. I mean, since it's using physics, then... We can just we can just create a good gameplay mechanic by using colliders. Okay, so I like that idea. We can we can keep that. Um, I've also talked about having destroyable walls, and that's something we could be doing in this episode actually. So let's go ahead and try this out. I am going to create a new cube. Again, just to test stuff out. Now, this is going to be the wall I'm going to try and destroy. So I'll just make it bigger like that. And let's extend our plane. Or actually, let's actually use these. So all of these. And it's a lot of uh, object manipulation. And I really really recommend you to go ahead and just learn how to use these keybinds so you can work quickly and prototype quickly your game. So what I'm doing pretty much is I'm just control clicking on these. As you can see this is one object holding control and I'm clicking on the other ones. And then I do control C and control V to duplicate. You can also select them from the R key over here. And then control C, control V. Okay. And I'm also going to take this plane and move it around here. Okay, so basically right now the only way to access this plane is by using the rail, but now the rail is pretty much not 
uh, available to us because there's a wall. Now let's go ahead and try to destroy that wall by adding a new script on it. So I'm going to go in add component and uh, let's create a new script that is called destroyable object. Okay, so make sure that the script is applied to your object and then we are going to open it inside of Mono Develop. Now, what exactly could we do here? We are going to keep uh, nothing, so go ahead and clean up your script and inside of here we are going to create a public float um, force required. So that is going to be the velocity you need to destroy the object. Let's go see what we have. We have a uh, boss collider and we don't want to be putting it on trigger else if we put it on trigger then that means um, we're gonna go through and that's not what we want so so let's do private void and in unity there is uh, there is a callback that happens whenever you enter collision with an object uh, that has a collider as well and it is called on collision enter so again make no mistake in this because this is a callback from unity and you are not allowed uh, to make any mistake else it's not going to be called now this function also takes in parameter a collision that we're gonna need so go ahead and declare it up here I'm going to call mine call and now just to test it out I'm going to do debug.log call and we're gonna take a look at um, what we can use so impulse the total impulse applied to the contact pair let's go ahead and debug that see what it gives us so I'm going to hit play and actually remove the maximize on play okay and uh, if we take a look down here in our console when I hit this wall we get a vector 3 that says say uh, 7.4 in that case now it's 4.8 because I wasn't going as fast and now let's go ahead and try with a boost and as you can see 15.8 okay so we get um, we get the force actually applied to the object. Now what we're gonna do is actually check out the length of that force because if our wall was a little bit sideways like that, we would probably get um, we'll probably get uh, two values as you can see. So 11.6, and on the z-axis you get 6.7. So what we're going to do is we're gonna go back in our code and say dot magnitude. And this is the value we're going we're going to use. So basically, uh, copy that. We're gonna put it in a if if the the uh, the magnitude of the force we entered with the wall is bigger than force required. Then right now, since we have no heart and we have no special effect, let's just do destroy, and we're going to destroy the game object, which is this one. So this wall is going to have the script and whenever uh, something enters collision with him and uh, the force is bigger than the force required then it's going to destroy itself. Now if we base ourselves on the number we were getting earlier um, I think we could be we can be changing the force required for 10 that would make a little bit more sense so let's go ahead and try this out now press play and unable oh actually well, I was able to destroy the wall maybe I was going too fast Oh, okay. Let's have a look at what is going on. Maybe I modified it. Oh, it's still it's still three over here, and that is because the field is public, so it kind of um, saved itself on the object on the in the uh, object memory, and uh, yeah. So gotta be careful for that. So double check on your inspector, and your wall. Change the force required for ten, or any number you want really, and now let's try that again and the wall won't budge. Now if we try with a boost we destroy the wall and we can now go on the other side and uh, yeah okay so let's go ahead and create ourselves just a little level for fun just for testing purpose and just yeah for, for fun purpose why not so I'm going to take all of these objects right now I'm holding control and I'm just uh, using drag selection and I'm not getting any of those so I'm just gonna I'm just going to hold control and select all of these like this 
and rotate that using the E button and move it around here all right like that and also move my win box there we go so now we have some kind of uh, first level and use the boost we can only use it once every two seconds we were going fast enough to destroy that wall and we're on the rail good so we finished of course we got the no reference error and that is because we didn't start the game from um, the main menu but if you want to see that here it is like this and we're gonna go fast enough destroy the wall and win all right so that's going to be pretty much it for this video guys um, if you learned something or if you enjoyed the video please go ahead and leave it a like it really helps me out and also if you have any question or comment you can find me on Facebook or in the comment section below so guys thanks a lot for watching and I will be seeing you in the next episode